Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode, as you can tell by what operating system we're running today, it's going to be another Linux related video. It's been a little while since we've done one of these, but today we're going to be checking out Microsoft Edge for Linux that was announced back in October of 2020. I know I might be a little bit late on this one, but I figured it's better late than never. And yes, this is a real thing. Microsoft announced back in October that they are going to be developing a Linux version of the Edge web browser, everybody's favorite web browser out there. I might be exaggerating a little bit there, but hey, it's certainly more popular now than it was when it was released back in 2015 with Windows 10. At that time, it was built with Microsoft's proprietary Edge HTML browser engine. Unfortunately for Microsoft, it did not perform as well as they probably thought because people still like Google Chrome and it still remains to this day the most popular web browser out there. So I guess Microsoft thought, well, if you can't beat them, join them. So they decided to base their next version of Edge that was announced in 2019 on the Chromium project that powers Google Chrome. So Edge is now a Chromium-based browser. I'm sure we all know this. And it's been bundled with Windows 10 for a couple releases now. Well, later on, they announced they were going to make a version of it for Mac OS. That was back in May of 2019. They released a preview. And just back in October, like I said, they announced a Linux preview build of Microsoft Edge. Now, as of the date I'm recording this, which is the December 22nd, the Edge browser for Linux has not been officially released. You can see if you go to the main download page, it says not supported for Linux. So they only offer the Windows download as well as a uh, Mac OS, iOS, and Android. So you're not going to be able to download it from the main page, though they have released an insider build. And that's where you're going to have to go to download it if you want to check out the current beta or dev build of Microsoft Edge for Linux. So there are two ways to download this. You can get the dot deb or the dot rpm file directly from this download page i'll have this link down below or you could download it through the terminal by adding the uh, repository and then just you know downloading the package from there before we install it though i want to show you the situation with the channels here so there are currently two channels of the uh, edge insider build so the first one is the beta channel this is going to be the most stable preview experience as it says right here certainly not as stable as a final release that's pretty obvious but uh, this is updated every six weeks and you can see there is not a build available at the moment the dev channel on the other hand is updated every week and since this channel is obviously updated more frequently you will typically have uh, more features newer features and things like that in these builds as opposed to the beta channel builds, which again are updated every six weeks. So I'm going to download it from here and just install it using the .deb file, though they also link you to the command line installation down here if you would like to uh, download it that way, which I'm sure the Linux elitists out there will say is the right way to do it. But uh, we will try to not have a war down in the comments. So anyway, I've got the file downloaded right here. We're going to open it up and it will obviously open up with the Ubuntu software installer here. And here you go, Microsoft Edge Dev the web browser from Microsoft. Let's install it here. It's obviously going to ask us to authenticate. We'll type in my super secure password. So we've got it installed. And now if we go to our installed app list, it should show up in here. If we scroll down to add-ons, here it is right here, Microsoft Edge Dev. So to run it, we're just going to open it up like any other Linux application. So here you go. Now, all of the dev builds are going to have a modified icon with this dev branding down here, just to let you know that it's a dev build, so you will never forget. So here it is. Now, it opens up in full screen initially, and it's got this little uh, animation. It says, hi, welcome to Microsoft Edge. Compatibility without compromise. So we're going to uncheck the diagnostic data sharing and click on accept. And there you go. You got that nice fade in effect in the background or that fade out effect. And uh, you can see the browser back there. So this, uh, I don't remember Windows 10 doing this. You don't really have to accept an agreement to use the browser. Maybe the newer versions are going to have something like this where uh, you can select uh, you know, what your new tab page is going to look like. You've got three options, inspirational, informational, which just kind of pushes up the background and has things like weather and focus, which will uh, just have, it looks like, it looks like these are similar, obviously. Well, I guess focus just removes the 
background and kind of makes it look more like a Chrome new tab page, which is just very, very basic with just a blank background with a Google search uh, box. I'm sure you guys know how that works if you use Chrome, which judging from these statistics is probably most of you. So we're going to go with inspirational, which will have this nice background for us. We'll click on confirm and here it is. So once we select uh, whatever option we want, it will open up Microsoft Edge Insider.com, which is going to have more information about the dev channel and the current dev build, any known issues. Uh, so you can see sync services are currently disabled. So yes, this is one thing that uh, is a huge giveaway that this is a development build. You are not able to sync any of your data across devices. You are limited to uh, like whatever changes that you make in this browser, whatever bookmarks you add, things like that will not be synced across your Microsoft account. In fact, you can't even sign in with a Microsoft account currently. Normally on Edge for Windows 10 and Mac OS, since that is also a final version, you're able to sign in with your Microsoft account if you would like, and uh, that way all of your bookmarks and uh, saved passwords, all of that stuff, will be synced across devices. So, uh, and this is obviously very similar to signing in with a Google account on Google Chrome. It's going to essentially do the same thing. Here in uh, the Linux build though, the current Linux build at least, we're not able to do that. If you click on sign in, it just says, oh no, some features may not work as your device is using an operating system that's not currently supported by Microsoft Edge Insider builds. For now, we're officially supporting Windows 10 version 1709 and above and Mac OS version 10.12 and above. So it says uh, not currently supported by Edge Insider builds, even though the operating system is, I mean, we can run this here. So that is one of the major downsides, but obviously you're going to have to uh, expect that not all of the functionalities uh, of this browser are going to be here. But I mean, we can use it just like, you know, you would use a web browser. We can go to Google here. I can do a search for my channel. And let's say we want to go to my YouTube channel. We can uh, watch my AT&T video phone video here. Let's say we want to watch it in 1080p, make it full screen. There you go. We got uh, 1080p video streaming you know, all the standard stuff that you can do with the web browser. Obviously, I would not recommend using this as your primary browser, even if you just love Microsoft Edge so much. I mean, you can definitely have it installed and you can try it out, but uh, just expect issues to arise, um, you know, every now and then, maybe more frequently than that, because this is not, uh, as I've said, a final release of the web browser. I think it's very smart for Microsoft to be doing this. I mean, Windows is currently, and well, for most of its life, uh, it's been the most popular popular desktop operating system out there. But for Microsoft to increase their browser market share, it's definitely not a bad thing to also have it available on competing operating system platforms like Mac OS and Linux. Now, is this going to unseat Google Chrome? My guess is probably not. Google Chrome, as I've said before, is currently the most popular web browser out there with a market share of like over 70%. And it's probably going to remain that way for the foreseeable future. And if Linux users want a Chromium based browser, that is already you know, fully released, they'd probably go with Google Chrome. But I mean, I don't know if you like the Chromium browser engine, but you don't like Google and you want a de-Google-fied version of Chrome, uh, Microsoft Edge for Linux might just be for you. Obviously, it's going to be heavily tied into the Microsoft ecosystem. And chances are, if you're using Linux and you have a disdain for Windows, you probably don't really want anything to do with Microsoft. But I'm sure there's a market out there. I'm sure that people are going to use this. I just don't think it's going to really do much to unseat Google Chrome, though I don't think Microsoft is expecting it to. But like I said, it certainly is not a bad thing that they've got it on other platforms as well. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do multiple times every single week on this channel. And as always, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.